Hey guys, what's up Roman here from Tech Guides, and in today's video I want to share with you guys an extremely useful tool if you want to use one set of mouse and keyboard across multiple computers. So for those of you who have been watching me for a while, you might be aware that I've already made a video on such a software. It was called Input Director. However, that tool still had some little issues and it was only working on Windows machines. So for today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at a software called ShareMouse, which is actually much more stable and reliable than Input Director, and it also works between Windows and Mac computers. Now this video has been kindly sponsored by Bartels Media, the developer behind ShareMouse. So with having said that, let's jump right into my in-depth review of ShareMouse. Now first let's talk about the installation of ShareMouse. Basically it's as easy as it can get. You download the software from the link in the description below, install it on every computer that you want to have connected to each other, make sure they're connected in the same network, and that is basically it. They should now be able to see each other and you should be able to use your keyboard and mouse from one computer on all of the other PCs. Now ShareMouse is an excellent free software as long as you only have two computers and one screen each. However, if you want to use some of the extended functionality of ShareMouse or if you want to use it with more than two PCs or more screens, then unfortunately you're gonna have to buy a license key. However, you should know that you can use all of the extended functionality of ShareMouse for up to 30 minutes after you've installed the software. Also, if you did buy a license key, then you only have to register it on one device in your network. It will then immediately transfer the license on all of the other computers in that network. After you've installed ShareMouse, you can go to the Monitor Manager, which will then show the layout of your screens. As you can see, this is super straightforward to use. On the display that you're not currently using, you'll see a big B and the one you're currently using is obviously the A. If you change the layout, then you can see that the B changed to the A. So let's switch this back as this is actually the proper order of my screens. Furthermore, you can hover over the screens to get some additional information on that respective computer so you get the dimensions of the display as well as the computer's name. Now with the free version of ShareMouse, you can basically remote control a second PC using the mouse and keyboard of your primary computer. Additionally, you can copy paste files as well as text snippets from one computer to another. Now one of the really cool features of the paid version is the ability to drag and drop files from one PC to another. Additionally, when copying large files, you get an overlay informing you about how fast the file transfer happens and when it's gonna be finished. Now dragging and dropping does not only work with files, but it also works inside of text editor software. So as you can see, I can simply drag and drop the test from my main PC to the second PC. This software also allows you to equalize monitor dimensions, so this is really convenient if you have two computers, one for example with a 24 inch monitor and the other with a 27 inch monitor, and in order to switch from the 27 to the 24 inch monitor, you're gonna have to kind of go down a little bit usually, because the kind of monitors are kind of aligned like this, and with this option you can basically transfer even in the corners. Another neat feature is the ability to wrap the mouse cursor basically infinitively around your monitors. Note that you're gonna have to set up each setting for each machine individually. This is actually one of the very few small shortcomings of ShareMouse that you're gonna have to set up all of the settings individually. In my opinion, it would be really neat to be able to synchronize settings across multiple computers. On the other hand, another extremely useful functionality is the ability to set up a hotkey to quick jump between different monitors. So as you can see, if I press Ctrl Tab, I will jump from my main PC to my secondary PC immediately. Another functionality of the paid version is the ability to synchronize events. So for example, if you shut down your main PC, your secondary PC will also shut down if you tick this box. Next, another absolutely invaluable feature of ShareMouse is the ability to prevent the switching of monitors when in a full screen application. This comes in extremely handy if for example you're live streaming using two computers and obviously you don't want the mouse to randomly switch to the streaming PC while you're in the middle of a game. However, if for some reason you still want to switch between monitors if you're in a full screen application, then you can simply enable the last option of the bunch here, which allows you to switch to the second monitor by swiping towards your border twice. Next, another really cool feature that unfortunately only ships with the paid version of ShareMouse is the ability to encrypt all of your traffic between different computers. This is basically enabled as soon as you set up a password. If for some reason ShareMouse didn't automatically find all of your PCs in the network, then you can also manually enter the IP addresses of the respective computers. However, from my experience, this is not necessary as ShareMouse is absolutely excellent in recognizing all of the computers in your network. 
Another neat functionality is the definition of a panic key, which allows you to regain control over the computer that you're currently using your mouse and keyboard on. Also, you can specify different keyboard commands for Ctrl-Alt-Delete on different computers in order to execute a Ctrl-Alt-Delete on the first or second computer. Also, ShareMouse allows you to dim the inactive screen, which comes in very handy if you have multiple computers in front of you and you don't really know where the mouse is. Obviously, as all of the options, you can also only set this up on one PC, which then gives the effect as shown on screen right now. And you can even use ShareMouse to remotely unlock a secondary computer or to confirm the user account control that pops up whenever you'd like to install or run a program as administrator. Now, using ShareMouse is refreshingly straightforward. You don't need to set up some slave-master relationship. You can simply install it on all of the machines that you like to use it. It will automatically detect all of the different computers. You can set up the monitors as you like it. And that is it. Now, while using ShareMouse for about three weeks, I only ever had a few issues. Sometimes the software wouldn't allow me to switch between monitors, even though I really wasn't in a full screen application. And in that instance, I would simply have to kind of open up the options of ShareMouse in order to get my mouse back on the second PC. Other than that, the only thing that I found a little bit lacking is that there is no option to actually synchronize options across multiple devices. And finally, I should obviously also talk about the pricing structure of ShareMouse. Now, if you simply want to use it with two computers, uh, both with one monitor, and simply want to use one mouse and keyboard on both of these computers, then you can simply use it without needing to registering a license. Now, hands down, the most useful feature that ShareMouse has and any other contender doesn't is the ability to prevent switching when in a full screen application. Unfortunately, this functionality can only be used when registering a professional version. Now, in Switzerland, this costs 80 Swiss francs, which is, in my opinion, quite a high price for a software like this. So, in my opinion, I think it would be absolutely fantastic if there was a third option which only included the prevent switching functionality of the professional version. On the other hand, you need to keep in mind that this software does not come with any subscription-based pricing model whatsoever, so you basically only need to register your license once and you'll get updates forever. But if you want to use two computers with only one keyboard and mouse, then ShareMouse is probably one of the best options out there available. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you liked this video, then leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.